Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Evil Land 2. We are still in the forest trying to explore what we can in here, defeating more and more enemies as we go along. Uh, but I have to admit, between the last time and this one, I grinded a little bit. I, I didn't do it excessively, just uh, four runs back and forth. And I will show you in a minute the results. We are now level four. So a little bit extra HP, a little bit extra attack, a little bit extra defense. Just enough for us to uh, kick the crap out of those, let's just say, I was gonna say mushrooms, but also the squirrels, which I haven't encountered yet. Okay, the squirrels are more of an attacking uh, force. I love the fact that I can just one hit kill them now. Makes it a lot easier. And that's a rock. Hm. It seems everything in this game can attack you. Beautiful. Alright, so we have two ways to go. We have a little bit here and a little bit there. Let's do the little one first. <laughs> Take an enemy with us straight away. And the reason we are here is because... And another level. <laughs> Beautiful. It's because we were found unconscious in this forest and we woke up without any memories of who we are. The name Kuro that we have right now has been given to us. So... Hopefully when we get to that point, we'll know a little bit more about ourselves and maybe even our actual name. And who knows? Maybe Kuro is our name. Alright, and this is what I want to try. Because if you remember from last time, we were in the village and we saw the same exact pattern in the water. And I was saying, we might need a skill in order to get to the other side. This isn't it. <laughs> It just uh, leaves a coin on the other side that uh, we cannot... What was that? Oh, I thought we were hit, but <laughs> we weren't. Alright, let's leave that for now. Somehow I feel like this open area with the two rocks here is a way forward, so I'm gonna check out the other side just to make sure oh, it definitely was uh, <laughs> the way forward you got green goop what the hell is green goop well it's sticky that uh, I can see but what do we use it for no way, no how, whatsoever. Alright, guess we'll find out eventually. Maybe it's a quest item that we need to use up our hand. Or, it's something we can sell at the store. We made it. This is the spot where my dad found you. Careful. I see some demons in the clearing. Could they be doing here? Let's hide. They don't look friendly. Well, considering we defeated their entire race 50 years ago, I'm pretty sure they're not friendly. <laughs> Is that it? Cherry, are you sure that's really a megalith? Professor Gyro's writings are unambiguous. If we activate this megalith, we'll be able to tap into great amounts of magi, magi energy. It's a megalith, uh, all right. I saw one just like it years ago, but that one was broken. We absolutely need the energy from this megalith. According to the Professor Gyro's records, the energy within the forest, Guardian, would be enough to trigger it. Hmm. The Guardian's been long dormant, so it must be in a weakened state. We should have no trouble whatsoever defeating it. Soon, I'll have my revenge on those wretched humans. 
Prepare to summon the Guardian. Kuro, this is awful. If they wake the Forest Guardian, it might attack my village. We've got to do something. You think we should stop him? Yeah? Because clearly, we are human. They are demon. We are at war with each other. Well, 50 years ago, but let's assume that's still going on. Yes, we need to confront them. It's risky. We might be better off warning somebody. But there's no time. The Guardian. It's awake. Watch out. It's more powerful than we anticipated. Let the thing wear itself out, destroying the village. We'll return afterwards and finish it off. Oh no, Kuro. If we don't do anything, it'll attack my village. We have to try and stop it before it's too late. Alright. Well, let's do it. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. I'll help out. Just don't do anything rash, okay? I think this is gonna be interesting. Our first actual boss fight. Ooh, That's a massive attack. Okay, well, I'm just very cautious, but I think we got it. <laughs> yeah, not too bad for a first boss. I'm pretty sure that little bit of grinding helped, but that was not too bad. The megalith is shining. I've never seen it do that. Is that what those demons were talking about? There's something written on here. Lorem ipsum dolor sit amet. Might be a strange thing to say, but in all the horror movies and games that I've played, it's never a good thing when you see a mysterious force and you see a text written in some foreign language, Latin or something totally unknown, to say it out loud. It never ends well. And still, they did it. <laughs> it's glowing. What the heck? Ooh, going through a portal into another dimension? Did we just <laughs> de-evolved <laughs> into uh, a little bit different resolution? What? What the heck happened? I, I feel different, less detailed. How about you, Kuro? Same? Yep. <laughs> Man of many words, that Kuro. <laughs> now where are we? It's a bit like Spellbook Forest, but there is something different about it. Could be my imagination though. Either way, those demons put my village at risk. We've got to head there now and warn everyone. Think you can find the path again? Yeah, I'm thinking we probably can. Alright, I trust you. Let's get going. Okay, so we basically went a be great. So does it mean that other areas will be accessible now? Because that was a thing in Evil End 1, that if you change dimensions, it means that you could go to different places, like a wall that was once there, go to another resolution, another dimension, and it was flat. You could just walk over it. Is this going to be like the same? <laughs> yeah, just uh, punch that uh, tree. Enemies look different, but uh, essentially the same. Okay. There's <laughs> still too much for us to walk over. Can we maybe push this rock? Or maybe 
no, we cannot force it to the other side. Because I was thinking, like, if you push the rock into the water, we might be able to create a bridge of some kind. But uh, let's leave it for now. It might be something at a later date. Maybe we manage to, like, find, like, a piece of wood. Maybe lay over it and make a bridge out of it. Or get a move that we can maybe jump over it. Okay, if we can do that. Hey, don't you growl at me. How do we get there? Again, maybe it's not the time just yet. Oh, no, it's already see uh, the way to go. Everything looks so different. But if you look really closely, you can recognize the uh, old level. Because it is essentially the same. Just a little bit uh, change from what it once was. A collectible star. Now we got two out of 30. Uh, that means we have 28 left to find. Like I said, I will do my best to try and find them all. But well, since it's my first playthrough, I cannot guarantee it just yet. <laughs> the only time I can guarantee it is out if I already have every one of them. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. That's definitely a log we can use to get to the other side. Ta-da! Guess we are almost back at the point where we she befriended us. Yeah, that was here. This is where she showed us her power, or at least how we could use it. This is where we fought all these little ones in order to save her. It does seem that this looks a little bit like a path, doesn't it? There just isn't nothing there. Maybe these trees with the red berries in it. Maybe we can later destroy him with maybe some kind of magic. Or maybe we're gonna get another weapon, because right now we have a sword. What if we get an axe later? Would it mean we can chop down trees? Just thinking out loud a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, don't you even dare. The rocks are really cheeky in this game. Every time I chop away something into a new area, I always expect to find something there. I think in the three-dimensional, well, in the higher evolution of it, I think we found a first star there. We need to find a way on how we're gonna call it, like an evolution or de-evolution, higher resolution, lower resolution, 2D, 3D. I don't know, we'll find a way, because if I call this 2D and the other one 3D, if there is a time that we go even further in 3D, what do we call it then? Okay, I have to think about it, but uh, or give me suggestions in the comments. I would appreciate that. Okay, that's a rock. Can you go through this? No, she cannot. This one. That did trick. This she definitely can do. And there we can make another bridge to the other side. Beautiful. <laughs> so basically we created a bridge here to show ourselves that we cannot go to the other side. So we had to think on how to get there. Yeah. I was a few steps ahead of the game, apparently. This is a very suspicious wall. I need bombs. I need a way to destroy walls. 
I'm going way and way ahead of myself. I, I've played too many different uh, games like Zelda or even one that I got it in Dead Game of Wanted here as well. Because who doesn't want a bomb to blow shit up? Ooh, wait, wait, wait. I see one. Yeah, you were hiding from me, weren't you? And another level up. Beautiful. A hell of a lot of HP. No defense points. But a decent chunk of HP can also work as a defensive mechanism. Because the more HP you have, the more buffer it is. Until you, well, basically to heal yourself or if you die. Okay, even this map looks different. And if I have to be honest, this doesn't look like a village anymore. It looks more like a tent. Huh, let's check it out. Clearing. It's not called Nibiru Village anymore. Okay, what's going on? No enemies here? Did the demons destroy the city? No, no, they didn't destroy the city. If they destroyed the city, we wouldn't have seen anything here. We would see the ruins of the buildings, but even those aren't here anymore. Did we wipe them out of existence? Or was that funnel we went through taking us not only to another dimension, but another re reality? Hmm. Curious. Well, I guess we'll find out something if we look around, so... Because this is where... The man chopping down trees lived, wasn't it? Ooh! Hey, don't be so cheeky! And another star collected. Three out of thirty. And this is going really fast. <laughs> At this rate, we'll be done before you know it. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm not gonna rush it. We're gonna take our time and enjoy every little bit of it. Because so far, I'm liking it. It's a definitive improvement over the first one. Right, can we get to the other side? My village! Where is it? My father! My friends! They're all gone! We need to keep our cool. There's got to be a logical explanation. My dad always told me everything had a logical explanation. I sure hope he was right about that. I hope so too, cause this is really weird. It's like my village never existed. Exactly, just like I was saying. Kiro, do you have any idea what could have happened? Well, technically, I do have any idea. I just don't know if it's the right one, so I'm gonna say no. This must be connected to our fight with the Guardian. Maybe they took shelter in the mountains? No, because if they took shelter in the mountains, the building itself would still be here. Okay, let's go there now. I'm sure everyone's safe and sound. Why do I get a feeling like she's just trying to say it to keep her own mind at ease? Hmm. Lots of trees. Knocked down. Is this a place of the same guy we saw at the village? Well, what do you know? We don't get many visitors around here. You're trying to escape the war, right? What war? The war was over 50 years. Wait. Did we travel back in time? There would be a logical explanation. 
because if we went back in time, it could be to a time where the village was not yet created. The question is now, how far did we go? Did we go back 50 years to that war? I need more info, but that would explain a lot. Um, yes, if there is a war, I would like to escape it. You've got nothing to fear here. We're far from all the mayhem. Anyway, that's why I decided to stick around. Hmm? Weird. He reminds me of my father a bit. He's not from my village, in any case. And he doesn't seem to know why it disappeared. Well, to be honest, Fina, we didn't even ask. Psst, girl, don't pay too much attention to him. The war ended a long time ago. My guess is he's off his rocker a bit. No, no, I think my theory about time travel might be right. Uh, same text. Uh, no. Well then, you must be running from something else. You've got nothing to fear here. We're far from all that mayhem. Anyway, that's why I decided to stick around. Yeah, so basically same text, but different answers. Alright, let's uh, keep on exploring, and just like she said, we might as well check out the mountain and see if there's someone there. If my theory is right, which I... The more I think about it, the more it feels right. I don't think we're gonna find anyone there. I, I think we're gonna find more confirmation about the war. And then we get to the realization that we are actually in the past. Sounds like a solid theory to me at least. Alright, let's see what's down there. Out in the wide world. And this probably for if we get a boat at some point. Because I'm following the rules of all the traditional RPGs. You walk over the map, eventually you get a boat, and if you're lucky, you even get like a flying uh, machine or animal. It will take you everywhere. For now, <laughs> we're down to walking, <laughs> nothing else. Grizzly Pass. And there they are, the Grizzlies. <laughs> Let's charge up for the first one. Woo, she is powerful. That's definitely gonna help here. I do need to know how strong we are in relationship to where we are right now with the level. Two hits. Oh, that's not too bad. Does mean if we can level up one or once or twice, we may be able to one shot them again. That is not nice. Okay, one hit and one. Hmm. Aha. Uh, I see your trick. Ow! Don't spit in my face. I really don't want that. Because I'm gonna assume it's like a spider web and nothing else. Okay, same, same, same. Yeah, those bears are not too bad, if I uh, have to be honest. Very straightforward. I think these ones are far more hazardous to our health. Especially since we can't hit them when they're in ghost mode. It's completely rusted. It would take at least a good smack for it uh, to budge. Ah, a good smack, you say? <laughs> Alright, that did the trick. I was actually hoping it was gonna be a bomb or something, but uh, this works as well. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm hammering on the bombs, but that would be great if you got it. So friendly. <laughs> Those bears are kind of cute. They try so hard and never succeeding. I assume this is uh, going to be the same. 
Also, we're very rusty. Did the one in the beginning open up? No, not yet. So we did open up a pathway. The question is which one? Or maybe we need to flip post switches here. Oh, it aims a little bit. Did you see that? Uh, can we go through this or do we need to... No, we need to remove the rocks maybe first. Or she can go through the trees. Let's try it out. And that works. It's a good lesson to learn that she can't go through the rocks, but she can go do the, through the trees. Maybe it's gonna play into that later as well. Stop spitting in my face. So we cannot split that one because we can't go through the rocks, but we can get that one on the other side. A mm, little bit more to the bottom. Ah, wait, this is recharged. Wait. I just noticed something. When we were charging her, there was a 1 in there. Does it mean that later on she gets powered up to do even more, or...? Well, at least we cannot go further than 1 at the moment. Okay, I feel like something's coming up. Because uh, there's a barrier here, it's the rock slide that uh, we heard in the village. No, no, no. If my theory is right and we are in the past, then this is not the same rock slide. But there is a save point here, so something is coming up. Let's uh, mentally prepare ourselves. It's gonna be another boss fight. Ooh, no, 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 it's... Uh, just walk it. Just brave it. The more you hesitate, the bigger the chance is you'll make a mistake and get hit, so just go for it. And if you make a mistake, just push on. Did it just break the rock? Oh yeah. Of course, they were on the floor as well and I broke them then too. Ah. And then they're even less of a problem than I thought it was. Oh crap, I didn't notice it until... There, the image on the floor, it's a skull. That was already a warning that there's gonna be a fight. We need to charge a bit. Oh. As soon as they see me, they start to attack me in ghost form. Yeah, you're not, not treating me right here. Good, you're getting there. Try to avoid the wind. If you can do that, there is no problem whatsoever. It just takes a little matter of time. Level up. Current reached level 7. Apparently, also the way forward. Just some attack power, and that's it. Is me or the levels getting less and less uh, pleasant? <laughs> that switch now even looks like a nose. Let's check ahead a little bit more. Okay, is that a mammoth? Look, Kuro, a mammoth. I thought they all gone extinct because of the global warming. Anyway, this one is blocking our way forward. Uh, I know. 
I used the br bracelet of great strength I brought, uh, bought from a trader the uh, other day. Uh, I'll shove the Mehmet off the path in no time. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. Could it be that trader sold me a dust bracelet with no magic at all? If I find him, he's gonna wish he'd never met me. Well, I'm fresh out of ideas. I'll leave the problem in your capable hands. Kuro? Yeah, we can try a few things. Mm, well, we do have you, so... Okay, that definitely did the trick. <laughs> so, you couldn't use your bracelet. We did use you. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Seeing as there's a save point here, I'm gonna leave it here. I think this is a beautiful place to do it. We just had a second boss encounter in the episode, the Ghosts of Grizzly Mountain. So yeah, let's uh, leave it here. Next time we're gonna continue on with the mountain and hopefully get to the other side. Or get to a point where she'll finally admit that there are no villagers here and my theory is right. Because I am very much convinced about that. But we'll see that next time. Until then, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you like this episode, don't forget to hit that button and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.